Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to an episode of our Let's Play for Motorsport Manager. We are in our fourth season of the challenge. Still in last place, kind of where we belong. <laughs> you know, <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, but yeah, here's what it is. Car condition update. Interview. I actually don't. Or whatever. Fine. Um, so that's going to lower our chairman happiness with us. I'll just make her unhappy because that's not going to matter that much. Pit crew. No mistakes. Oh, you know, I forgot to modify my pit crew to make sure they're doing the right things. Uh, for example, you're the best rear jack person. Uh, the best front jack person is, well, actually also you. Interestingly enough, uh, let's put you up there maybe. Um, it's 14 and 10. Honestly, 13 and 11 might be better, but we'll go with this. And then the best tire people, 13, 11, 10. I guess eight is the best. Uh, best fixing people. Hopefully we don't have to do too much that. So I'm going to worry about that last. Refueling, 11. It's not bad. There's a 13 there. Drops out our 10 though. There's an 11 there that we can swap out here because we can swap one of these other eights up there. Because again, the fixing, I'm hoping we don't have to do too much of. So it's not bad. Um... I mean, anything else we can swap around to get a better result here? I don't think so. So, I mean, that is what it is. Not bad. We'll hire some more people probably to swap in, but we'll wait till we some of these guys get a little bit lower on the happiness or the mistake percentage, I should say. Um, what's I going to do? Let's just go in advance so we can get the car stuff working on. New scouting facility. Car repairs done. So now we can go look at our car, make sure we are doing the right thing. We are, which is good. We do have an offer out for another mechanic, which will help us out a lot, because currently we're actually not getting anything from this. Like, not even a trickle at the moment, which is interesting. Here comes the contract proposal. Apparently he likes it, so we'll go ahead and sign him. That's going to be fine. We're going to get rid of her, because she's just a default. Uh, doesn't really cost as much. And hopefully that will help us a little bit over here. Uh, let's see. What are you good at? They're identical on the staff impact here if I do it both either of those ways. But this way we actually get a little bit more passive here. Um, is it the same this way, actually? No, this is literally just the best way to do it, no matter how we do it. Okay, cool. We'll go with this. Um, focus on the reliability first. Go from that. And... Yeah, that looks good. Uh, how are we doing on our drivers? Is she still unhappy? Nope, she's got two more weeks. Oh, that's right. We haven't, we've only got like a day. It's not even been close to two weeks. All right, now how about it? Three days. All right, we're close. Because as soon as that comes up, I'd like to um, see if the chairman will be happy enough to let us have some money. Which apparently we can only do once per season, but or once per year or whatever it was. I think that's three days. No, nope. eight hours. <laughs> okay, apparently it wasn't three days. Has that been three days? One hour. I'm just hair trigger on it. Apparently, there we go. Now it's definitely done. Been there, right? Drivers. Good. Home. Chairman is very happy with us. Can we get some more money? Uh, request additional funds. That will drop his happiness. It's only going to give us 1.5 mil. But, I mean, the sooner we get this, the better, right? Then his happiness will start building back up, and we've got some money. That'll let us, what, two, three races, right? Almost, maybe a little bit more. Maybe four races we'll be able to do the, the other factory piece, the uh, design center. We're actually halfway through the actual factory itself, which is awesome. Just hoping I remember to actually do the practice session this time. Save us a little bit of time. All right, 13 and above, which actually came a lot closer to than I would have expected. You are still very angry, which makes no sense to me because you're probably still angry at yourself, which is absolutely ridiculous. But what are you going to do? So, I mean, she have like the crazy trait? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. 
she's angry because she has the better car than herself. I mean, there's probably something I'm misreading there, but it's what it looks like it's saying. A race is considered successful when you hit your chairman's targets. Well, our chairman's targets are last place. Pretty hard to be unsuccessful with that. <laughs> Default success. Winning. All right, grab you two. Eh, probably should get another driver at some point. Uh, start practice. Simulate practice. I hit the blue button last time, which, you know, because it's a big blue button. It's exciting, as opposed to the dull gray button. I mean, at least we know Fawcett is the better driver. She seems to be showing that pretty regularly. I mean, she does also have the better car, to be fair. <laughs> Even though she won't admit it. <laughs> Her car is so bad, she will not admit that it's better than the other person. She's just that angry about the, the state of the car and as uh, overall. Which I don't blame her. It is a pretty bad car. Are we still... Uh, we'll have to look in a second. I, I wonder if we're still completely dead last in every slot. I assume we are. But I actually don't know. Oh, that's right. You have to rebuild your relationship with the new mechanic. That's right. That's all right. Not a problem. Um, any better setups? Yeah, just 77. All the rest of that looks fine. I'm going to going to get out of that. Yeah, that should be good, actually. And that's... We're going to leave it filled up. And then your fire. That's fine. Same things. All right. Good stuff. I mean, I guess we could at least put some of these down to where we know they're at least within the green bar. So at least we know that's a little better. Same thing for you. I mean, it's got to be better than the okay, right? All right, driver strategy. We will go ahead and go out hard and heavy with her. You're probably not going to go out quite as hard and heavy. Because honestly, we we don't want to have to try and... Re We'd like to try and avoid repairing if we can. If we can. Right, we're gonna go 2D again, max out the speed. Apologies if that's boring and you don't like it, but I just want to get through these and get to the get to the good stuff that's coming. I promise it is coming. I'm gonna settle you guys in for a bit. Faucet's actually. 15th. Go, Fawcett. Go. No, oh, she's dropping down now. I spoke too soon. Any rain coming? Nope. No rain whatsoever. It is really nice having that <laughs> that forecast center. It may not be helping us win, like, like do anything good right this second. It may not be giving us money or anything like that, but uh, it sure is nice to have, and it's going to be nice to have once we actually get to the to the important stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and go up to overtake because we are about to have to change tires anyway. Just to burn off a little bit of this fuel. Alright. I um, guess we can go ahead and pit and we'll swap in for mediums. Fill it up. That looks should be okay. All that looks good. Go. I'll pitch you, same thing, mediums, uh, fill it up, park conditions actually looking all right. I mean, you do have nurse, so that helps. What's wrong with the suspension? Oh, you're having issues. All right, go back down to settle in. We're probably going to have to repair that here in a little bit. I mean, again, does it really matter, though? Because you're basically be last place anyway. So defeatist. I mean, Fawcett's looking somewhat competitive to some of these last place spots, you know? I think we could actually get her a little bit of effort, you know, up into the 15th, 16th, 17th range pretty consistently. Um, Pira, Pires here is just, just terrible. Her car is terrible. Mm 
Definitely have to repair at least the suspension. I don't know about the brakes. We'll have to see. Let's drop you down medium just so I can pay attention to her real quick. Because I think we're going to have to pit her first, maybe. No, we're going to have to pit Posset this next run. All right, go there. Fill it up. Park conditions actually look okay. So, go Posset, go. And then we'll pitch you this next lap. And yeah, same thing. Just fill it up. It's going to be all right. Which means we could push a little bit more, but probably not going to. I mean, whatever. We'll repair them. I, it's not going to make a difference. She's going to be last place no matter what. But just for the sake of saying that we did it. Oh yeah, we're already lapped in and everything. Oh, Matt Fawcett's. I mean, I don't know if she's going to catch 18th or not, but she's trying. 38 seconds behind our sponsor objective. 21 seconds behind it. Wow, that jumped up quick. That was a bit, bit surprising. Now we're dropping back down again, though. Just a few more laps, guys. Just hang in there. Oh, wow. First place had to retire. That's bad. Actually jumped up to 17th spot. That's, that's interesting. Was not expecting that. And we're getting a few points. Not enough to really matter, but we're getting a few points here and there. Just by not being worse than the other guys, basically. All right, guys. Uh, I mean, hopefully that doesn't... Are we still getting money for being last place? I actually don't remember. Let's check here in a second. I think we still get money for being the last place team. All right, let's see. Go there, go there. Blah, blah, blah. Let's check the monies in a moment. Once we can build that design center, then we can start putting money into some parts, and which might be a little sooner than... Uh, it's probably going to time out about the same time as it does last season, which is about halfway through the season. Let's see. Drivers. Yeah, I think this is the last place stuff. Yeah, last place bonus. So we're still getting the 250, which is, you know, what, 2.75 mil over the course of the year. Not bad. Do I want to try and get a better reserve driver? If I can get somebody else who's a pay driver, it would actually help us a little bit, right? So just anybody that's a pay driver would would actually make us a little bit of money. Um, let's go over here. Let's go look at contract ends. Anybody that's not currently con in a contract, uh, let's go ahead and scout some of these guys though, actually. I forgot to be scout people. Might as well. Uh, let's actually make sure there's nobody down here that I need to scout. Oh, there's a couple actually. So never mind. Close, 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 close. Let's scout, scout some of these people that are not currently employed. First. And then we'll go from there. There's actually a lot of drivers that are pretty good drivers that aren't employed right now. Kind of impressive. Like Arunzo here. Really good driver. Wilt at home, erratic, wonder kid, found religion. I mean, how much is he going to want? He's unemployed right now. That might be too much for us. Let's, let's, let's find us a pay driver. That's what I want. Oh, here we go. We can look at it here. I don't know why I didn't notice that we could look at it here before. Pay driver, pay driver, drift racer, pay driver right there. Pierce Booth. He's also content, which means he wants to make less. His morale is high. Marketability is a little bit low. But no, this is fine. Approach driver. Um, 
wages are fairly important. How much is he wanting them? How much would he pay us? Because that's kind of important. Unless we replace Pierre is over here. But is she a pay driver? I actually don't remember. Let's cancel this for a second. Um, he's going to pay us 262. And Pierre is paying us. Wrong button. 277. So she's actually paying us a decent amount of money. So he's going to be too much. Um, he's a good driver. Um, but I don't want to pay him as much as he's paying. I want, I want him to pay us more. That's what it comes down to as sad as that sounds. Maybe, uh, let's see. Radio shy. Some of these are popping off the end of the list here. All right. Scouting required. We're going to do that here in a second. I could filter based off of what I'm looking for. Chaser, crash happy. Oh, that just sounds great. We don't know about you guys. Geraldo, <laughs> really good driver. How is he unemployed right now? Pay driver right there. Gaston it should be pretty cheap too because he's not a very good driver at all. He would pay us two ninety nine. Uh, yes, please. And he's not going to want much. Yes. And we want him as a reserve driver, I think. Because uh, he's going to be worse than her, isn't he? Eh, they're pretty close, actually. But he is worse. Uh, wages are important. Um, we get half if we use him in practice. So if he's at 299 anything less than 150 should still give us some profit. What would be the max? Eh, that's a lot. Drop you down to about 80 That's still going to give us 70000 if we just use him in practice. You want a short contract, that's fine. Nice sign on bonus. You know, whatever. Um, something like that. And then we'll do the same thing here again. I don't know if it really matters, but maybe it does. It's not very patient. Uh, any other drivers that we can go explore on? Um, who was that? That was him? Yes. Gaston Philippe. Esme. There's uh, Enrique, who's a really good driver. There's no way they're going to give us a decent amount of money. Yeah, it's not even that much pay driver stuff. Emily, we don't know. Emilio, uh, apparently nothing. Nightingale, Marsh, Rival. Okay, no, no that helps. Bjorn. Bjorn is a pay driver. Bjorn is a very bad pay driver. Bjorn would give us 205. We use him as um, practice. That would give us 105. So how much would he get? How much could we get him for? Uh, you know, something like that would give us about 70,000. I mean, we'll, I don't know, we'll say we'll give him something. Just give us another option. Um, that's Bjorn Axel. Ashley. Ashley is also a pay driver, but she's a really good pay driver. All right. That looks good. We'll go with those two. See if that gives us anything. Uh, I don't really want to talk to you guys. I'll be honest. <laughs> I mean, the press is just... I mean, who, who really wants to talk to the press, really? Car repair is done. Let's check out the car. How are we doing over here? Uh, we're above 75% or 70% on all of them. Let's go ahead and swap over to a couple of these other parts real quick. Get these locked in. And focus on that. A couple of contract proposals about to come back. Uh, make sure you guys don't have any mistake issues. Uh, one of you does. So let's see if we can get us maybe somebody who's got good refueling. Nobody has good refueling. All right. Well, who's the best person we can get here? It looks like this 12 here is pretty good. Let's hire that person and see if we can swap them around. That came in as a 14. Never mind. Um, 14 on the rear jack, which actually works for us. So we can plug you in there and plug this 12 in there for fueling. She have up a little bit of time. Cool. I like it. Uh, anything else? No, I think that's it. I feel like there was something else I was going to look up, but I actually don't remember what it is now.
Uh, you like the contract, you do not. And honestly, this is just a reserve backup driver. Who cares at the end of the day? Although you have at least some good feedback. What is your What is your problem? That's yeah, the wages. And if I give you much more than that, you're right now. You're giving us seventy thousand dollars per race, effectively, if we use in practice, which is what this guy's given us. So I think we will sign this guy, get the seventy thousand, which is better than what she's going to give us anyway. And that is Bjorn. Yes. And let's kick her out of here. So that at least makes us some money. It's not much, but it's some. Cool. Plug him in. It's better than nothing. And um, like I said, we'll use him in practice. Interview. Okay, fine, whatever. There's recently been talk about changing Yokohama's layout. Do you think it's a good idea? I'm not really sure, to be honest. It's definitely tricky to see exactly who's going to benefit from this rule change. I may just abstain. And there you go. Exciting interview. Coming to you first. Ports, etc. Breaks research. Yes, I know. I'm, hey, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Well, I was going to look and see what, like, what parts that we have that are like really bad still, which they probably all are. Uh, I guess we'll vote on this real quick. Uh, it will benefit teams likely to perform well. All right. We'll say yes. I don't think I'm going to use that much voting power, but we'll vote. If it thinks we'll perform well on it, we'll go for it. Hey, it passed. There you go. What'd you do? Replacing track C with track B. Don't actually know the difference. <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, let's see here. Let's check our car. So we are dead last, dead last, dead last. Oh, and look, dead last. And somehow we're dead last on these two too, which is just unfair. I just want to point out. It's a spec part. We're all equal. Could you at least rank us like alphabetical or something? I mean, come on. Come on. Unless we're dead last because some of the other parts of our car, like our chassis, factors into the fact that our, even though we may be spec part, I think, does the chassis factor in or some of the other things? I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe there is something there. Got the best sponsors. We got the best headquarters. We don't have the worst staff and pit crew. We do have the worst drivers and the worst car, which sounds about right. You still unhappy? Of course you are. Why would you not be unhappy? Really? Hey, once we finish that factory, that'll help us repair or get these parts improved way quicker. Which is nice. Very nice. The sooner we get that stuff done, the easier it is just to at least be at the best car we can be at the at any given time, you know. We may not have great parts, but at least they're the best that can be. They're already improved, they've got reliability, all that stuff. All right, uh, we have to use you for practice. Gotta remember that, which is good because you are high on higher on the feedback than April, so we'll, that'll help us keep that in mind. And simulate. Go, go, go. He's such a bad driver. <laughs> he really, really is. But he's paying us money. So, what can you say? Alrighty. Maybe they at least got some good feedback. Would be nice, but I don't expect it. A little bit cloudy. I wonder if it'll rain today. Uh, it's gonna be pretty cool, but it doesn't look like there's any rain, which is fine. I mean, honestly, our reliability is up higher. I could probably deal with race trim, get a little bit more performance boost, not worry about engine expert since we have nurse. I mean, if I was really pushing the car, like, nonstop, which we're just not doing that, then um, maybe it would be worth pushing up a little bit more. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Softs are good. That's good. 
Same for you. You're already on sauce, looks like. Uh, 82 and 82. Well, good for you. Uh, let's do this 82, but bump the hand link back down to that. That looks good. Uh, looks like maybe speed balance somewhere. Oh, whatever. We'll leave it to where it's at. You are fine there. Fuel is fine. And driver strategies. We should at least be a little bit better reliability, so I think we can go out a little bit more. In fact, we can see our reliability by doing this. Uh, nothing that I can strip at the moment, I feel like, but at least good enough that we can push a little bit more. Once we get him up, up, up to 100%, we'll be able to push a bit more on the weight stripping. Somehow we're not dead last. All right, I mean, we're the last place team. We just not don't have the last place driver apparently. And the fallback begins. Go go go. I mean, we just, we have such bad cars. We really do. Um, kind of want to go ahead and pitch you now. It's early, but I think it's okay. And then we'll go ahead and schedule your pit as well. Because why not? Actually, we could probably do another set of these, to be fair. So I probably should have just stuck with those, with the other driver. Brakes are still a little bit weak, but I think we're going to be okay. Oh, we had a mistake. Oh, bad front jack stuff. Yet somehow she still went in the pit and came out ahead of Pires here. I mean, I wish there was like a X40 or something like that, that I can make this go even quicker. Because why not? All right, one more lap for Pires, I think. Yes. Go ahead and schedule your pit. Uh, eight laps remaining. I mean, we could probably do softs. And we do have a little bit of form experience. Let's go ahead and go back to softs. Why not? Fill it up. Uh, let's do that. That's okay. I'm not gonna repair anything. Let's go with that. Looks good to me. And then you're gonna go back out on sauce as well. Parts are great for you, so that looks good. Still got up. Poor Pires caught up with her. Poor Pires. You're just a really bad driver in a really bad car. Double negative. You're already getting blast, you know, blue flag and everything. Oh, your engine's rough. That's all right. Just hang in there. Just go ahead. Hang in there, girl. Not like you're going to get any worse. 21st place. How did she get worse? Just kidding. Last lap. Oh, you retired literally 10 feet from the line because I think you were about to finish, right? Because um, because you were blue flagged, right? Or no, we have one more lap. No, I think yeah, that, would, that was your last lap right there crossing the line. That's all right. So that didn't change anything. Hey, but yet again, we were not dead last only because somebody had to retire. All righty. Well, I mean, there's another one in the bag. We's making it little by little.
what are we at? Two races after this away from our design center, I think. Uh, yeah, two more races, barely. Unless we get a uh, sponsor objective or sponsor thing come up, which is possible. I haven't actually looked to see when the next sponsor one will come up. Sponsors. And then, yep, one more race. We'll have we'll have this sponsor come up, but we'll also have. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, one more race. We'll we'll have the sponsor come up, and we'll have that thing done. There's depending on which one we get. There's a chance that we'll have enough money after the next race, so that'll be good. Uh, I don't care about the interviews. Uh, let's check our pick crew real quick before I forget about them. Yeah, we have several in the yellow now. Oof. I don't know if I want to buy that many. Although, I mean, if I get them, they're, then we have them, and then it'll be easier for us to rotate, especially since we can renew their contracts. We just kind of have to pay that front fee initially. Um, I'm still like some more people with tire stuff, front jacks, things like that might work, which does mean we're going to be, we are two races away. So there's a decent tire person. Anybody else? I don't think either of these other ones are really that good. I mean, rear jack, but we don't really need that fuel. I mean, it's, none of these are good. Let's, um, let's wait till some better people come up. We'll always take this person and plug them in up here for that. Give us a little bit of a boost. Um, let's move you up to here. No, not that one. Sorry. I want one of the repair people, which I don't really have anybody that can move up very easily. That's fine. We'll just go with the 1.9s. That's not terrible. Um, you can move up somewhere. You could move up to, I guess, there. And the 8 can move up to a tire spot, which isn't amazing, but it's something. Something like that. We'll go with that. And we still got a couple people that aren't super great, but I think it'll be better than nothing. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and that is two That's three races in. Yep. So this is that. So that's the end of our episode. We'll go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, we will see about, um, what are we looking for? But we got the driver we wanted. Uh, really, we're just trying to get to the 15 mil so we can uh, start working on the next building, which is, or sorry, upgrade, which is the design center. So yeah, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.